Hello, this is Samir Tafish. Welcome to this presentation. Uh, our presentation today is going to talk about uh, face recognition using OpenCV and Python. Uh, to have this demo running, uh, we need to have um, OpenCV installed on the platform and impo we import some libraries like uh, face recognition which is based on um, dlib also uh, the data we're going to read from is from postgres database and we're going to use uh, spicy spatial for uh, measuring the distance between the detected images first of all we uh, need we import face recognition library as we discussed also we import OpenCV and the library for Postgres database to connect to the post, uh, database as well as the NumPy from uh, Python also we need to import the spicy.spatial it is used to measure the distance between two arrays, two uh, cubes When we run the program, the first thing to, uh, we need to have is to um, call the uh, webcam and start the webcam. Normally, uh, it's a device on our platform. Uh, it, it by default it is zero if we have only webcam. On my platform, I have two webcams. The first one is used uh, for the over here for this uh, cheese uh, program running and the second one is the ID 1 so we are going to read from uh, the webcam on ID 1 over here we are defining the resolution of the camera any, any resolution we want we are going to use the 640 by 480 for the resolution of the camera okay and uh, over here we connect to the database postgres database as we mentioned and we open the cursor and since we are pro uh, we are detecting from live webcam directly so we will be building a uh, continuous loop on the while loop over here and it close only when we press the Q it can close when we run the uh, loop over here the first thing we capture we read the frame from the captured uh, video from the camera and we resize the frame to a quarter okay then the we detect the location of the face or faces okay over here we detect the face and one once we have a face detected we encode it using face recognition the library we already imported before once we encoded encode the, the uh, frame or the picture the face we go through the encoding the face the detected faces we go through the detected faces and we build a query for each detected faces uh, for each detected face we build the query and we run it against the database the connection we have we execute it and we get the response then we have a response we uh, fill both the uh, 
trees detected and the uh, tree uh, and the um, face from the database, the encoded face from the database, we load them into arrays and we call the spatial distance. We make the difference between them, both of them. If the ratio is less than 0 0.48 for the distance, then we have a match picture or a match person. If we have a match person, then we create a rectangle on the face and we fill the name for all of them. Let's run a demo to see the program running. As we can see, this is from the second camera. It's in uh, lower resolution than the first one. Okay, and it's uh, detecting me. I'm telling this is me. Can you stop it? <laughs> okay. Over here, if we see the encoded images and the frames and the name of the person, detected person, you see how fast it is. Uh, although it's reading from a database uh, which has uh, now about 13,500, let me check exactly. If we run it from the table, it has 13,257 uh, 13, records in the uh, database. The data stored in the database. Let us see the full of it. So we have the f encoding of the face, the name of the person. So once we run the query from uh, the program, we are getting the name of the person or persons anyway any of them and as I told you we can we have we can detect multiple faces oh, let me show it over here here's one of my friends is giving me the name of him. as well as you can see we can have multiple faces detected on the from the webcam this is from my phone If we want to go uh, out, we just press the Q key and everything will stop. We go out the loop. Here we can say this is my friend record. The first name, the last name, and all the parameters, encoded parameters for the image as well as mine and uh, this part here is the ratio for detection from the spatial for the two arrays which are cubes okay oh. Once we uh, press the Q, definitely we need to release all the, uh, the webcam and the, we destroy all the objects created and we close the connection, definitely.
This is a small demonstration as we saw. It is a small demonstration about face recognition uh, we, and face detection. Not only recognition, we can recognize the face by drawing a square on the uh, face by itself, well, on the image. Uh, and then we uh, compare it to uh, save the data into our cubes, into a cube in Postgres. And uh, we can detect the name, and after that, we can have uh, any application or any uh, anything we want to execute uh, regarding it, either, either sending SMS or. Uh, uh, writing into a database uh, for the presence of this person that he pre he's present at this time he's not present or something or we can use it in uh, big areas uh, to uh, detect repeating visitors uh, to our shops uh, and many 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 other applications uh, we can think of Thank you for watching and uh, we'll keep you updated about anything. Thanks a lot.